I want to try the built-in PID. How do I use it? Now, let's learn about the PID control function. All CPUs of the XGT PLC have built-in PID functions. The number of configurable PID loops is determined for each CPU, and the PID parameters used for each loop exists as flags because they are built into the CPU. Therefore, you can use the PID flag registered with the CPU to insert the parameters and perform the PID operation without any additional modules and see the result value as the flag. Of course, there are temperature controller modules that can implement PID functions. But in this lecture, I will only explain the built-in PID. PID control is a control method used when you want to set a target value to keep the output constant. The goal of PID control is to change the output value by calculating the error between the target value and the current value. To maintain the output value to quickly reach the target value and to maintain a stable state when the target value has been reached. The target value is SV, the current value is PV, and the output value is MV, and the difference between SV and PV is called the error. This error is calculated as a proportional coefficient, an integral coefficient, and a differential coefficient to derive the MV. The MV is produced by calculating the current error for each control cycle, and with this value, the controller is controlled to reduce the error to reach and maintain the PV to the SV. At this time, the MV value is maintained, and if the SV value is changed, the MV value is calculated as an error occurs again. When the PV reaches the SV, the MV maintains a constant value gain. In this way, PID control automatically calculates the operation values to reduce errors, and finding the P, I, and D coefficient values is the most important task. This process is called tuning, and in order to find an appropriate coefficient value, it is necessary to operate the equipment and tune it. There is a manual tuning in which the user puts in the values directly, and an automatic tuning method in which the coefficient value is calculated according to the load condition by sending the MV maximum and minimum values from the PLC. Auto-tuning is an approximation according to the load condition, and it is not an accurate coefficient value. Manual tuning checks how quickly the target value can be reached by only adding the P coefficient. When only the P coefficient is included, it is called P proportional control. As PV reaches SV, the error decreases, so the MV value decreases, and it can enter a stable state without reaching the target value. This error is called residual deviation. And PI control is a control method that accumulates this deviation as time to eliminate residual deviation through integral calculation, and reaches the target value. Since the error is accumulated over time to obtain a result, it is necessary to quickly change the current value, or it takes time to reach SV when the current value changes due to disturbance. So in this case, use PID control with the D coefficient value. The D coefficient is a differential coefficient that compares this deviation with the previous deviation and makes the manipulated amount by the size of the deviation to react quickly. How can I program for PID? From now on, I will explain the basic configuration of the PID program. 
If you put the loop number in the command PID run and turn on the startup condition, the loop will operate the PID. The MV value is calculated for each control cycle when the PID run is turned on. When the manual output mode bit is turned on, the set manual output MV is output. If the manual output bit is not turned on, the MV is calculated by the set coefficient, and there are parameters that must be included for this purpose. First, you need to specify the target value and add the current value. The current value usually receives the temperature or analog value from the sensor and moves it to the PV. And the results are derived to the MV, which is a basic program that sends them to PLC memory or analog valve. The programs you see now are basically the items that go into when you do PID programming. First, put in the control cycle, and please set it longer than the PLC scan time. And you can specify the range in which the MV value comes out. You can specify the maximum minimum value to adjust the output value to be too large or not. You can add P, I, and D coefficients, but if you want P, I control, you don't have to add D value. These coefficient values are allocated to words in real type, so please be careful not to overlap the addresses. So far, the contents of this program are the basic parameters used for PID control. After you put those values in and run PID run, you can look at the SV and PV graphs and tune the coefficient values to make less overshoot and as little as possible. The larger the P value, the faster the response, but the greater the overshoot. The smaller the coefficient in the denominator, the more integral the I value is affected. So you can put the I value in a larger value, check the graph, and tune it with a smaller value. So far, we've learned how to use the built-in PID. Thank you.